All right, what's up, trolls? I mean, boys and girls, sorry about that. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Monday, December 20th night stream of Halo Infinite. And I'm also just going to rant for a bit, man. I uh, hope you all enjoy this new picture. I found it in a shoebox and some documents were attached to it. There seems to be some kind of correlation going back a long way. So I'm on the case. And I'll be reporting on this very soon. It's just very, very odd. And I didn't intend to make another video so quickly. But he's acting like a real idiot lately. And so I said, fuck it, man. I'm going to take some time tonight. And we're going to go in on his bitch ass. And I'm talking to you like that DSP because I also have some personal advice for you, man. You need to tone it down, buddy. You're lately you've been talking real reckless and acting real stupid. And one thing I notice is that whenever you start doing this consistently, life has a way of giving you a reality check. And we don't need to go over all the fucking things that have happened and all the ways that reality has hit you in the past. But again, that's just some advice to you, man. Start pulling it back, dude, because karma's a bitch and you keep finding out the hard way. And then sit there and act surprised when it happens. So we're going to go over some numbers here. We're going to fact check some shit. Uh, we're going to use Dark Day Mirrors. He's been having some problems lately with his connection and the streams in general. But he's doing his best, so we're not going to complain about it. A couple of the emotes are a little bit loud and the stream is a little laggy, but that's okay, man. We're going to make do with what we got. The last half of the video is going to be about memberships and why he fails to hit these goals and why he desperately needs gifted memberships. And I hope YouTube drags it out until 2023 just for you, buddy. So let's go ahead and look at this first video clip and see what we got. Unless a fucking a go. Left. At this point, guys, I don't know what to tell you about support. Like, I, I just don't know anymore. We had... It's been pretty slow, not gonna lie. A person with an insanely generous $23 tip, you know. It's obvious you guys aren't don't support the Halo stream, so if that's the case, then fuck it. Um, you know, I really don't like saying stuff like that and doing ultimatums, but this is ridiculous. This is like the third Halo stream in two weeks where it's been this situation. And I totally understand that people can't be at every stream. I totally get that. All right? And you know, I wasn't there to support it or whatever, but... If you're watching this on demand on YouTube, please support If me. I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, it is I would do it. Trying to get good at a game like this, you know? And working my butt off trying to do it. I told you guys I'm committing to try to play it twice a week. Everyone seemed on board. Remember, a couple weeks ago, this game was actually on the chopping block. And I said, guys, if you really don't want it, that's okay. We have many other things to do. Right? And at that time, everyone the buy-in was, no, we want it. We're going to come support the streams. And I just haven't seen it. Last last couple streams, I haven't seen it, you know. <clears throat> no, Blue Balls, it's not a guilt trip. It's called facts. It's called reality. In reality, I have to do stuff on a stream that's going to bring in support because this is my job, okay? So if this doesn't bring in support, I can't keep doing it. It's cause and effect. It's not a fucking ultimatum. It's not a guilt trip. It's called life, Actual life. So, it is what it is. It sucks because I really like it. But it looks like I may have to give up doing something that I like. And I don't like that. I don't. I don't like enjoying something naturally on the streams. Having people come and tell me they like it. But there's just not enough support for it to sustain it. You know? <clears throat> Gut, you have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Slay. <sighs> you know, but calamity, I'm not saying it always has to be everyone. This is the thing people get their own, oh, we can't always support. Yeah, I'm not asking everyone to always support. But when every time I play Halo, it's the same two people supporting it. Like, Ballerina Fio has been here at least three to four times every time I play Halo supporting the stream. Trying to consistently make them happen, you know? That's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be... Everyone contributes a little, not a very small group of people contribute a lot to try to keep something alive. That's kind of messed up, actually. That mentality. Alright, and a whole lot of garbage spewed there. But, Genova Calamity. 
as soon as I heard that, the name rang a bell. And I went and looked up the name on Pig Pig Go and look what I found. And actually, before we see that, let's take a look at the message. It says, what the fuck, man? We can't always support. Most of us don't make a lot of money. And the answer to that is no, Pay Pig, no. It doesn't matter how much you make, you have to support your master. And why do you give a shit all of a sudden? This is what happens when you feed the pig. The pig expects more and will attack you when they don't get it. Now let's take a look at these pictures and let me show you what I found. 80 fucking dollars here. 200 fucking dollars here. $300 here. And by the way, that 500 was on the same stream, that two and three on the same stream. And that's where I remembered that name from. And there's been plenty of others, by the way, 48, 37, 25. I just didn't want to screenshot them. But and these were last year. These were in 2020. I think maybe June, something like that, May. But you get what you deserve, man. And this is why we laugh at you guys, because of shit like this. You complain and you talk to him like that, and then he bites your ass. Why'd you bite mommy? Now you see what pigs can do. But back to the video clip, quote, It's supposed to be everyone contributes a little, not one person contributes a lot. That's kind of messed up, actually, that mentality, unquote. Since when? You clearly don't give a shit what one minute man, Jax Raxor, the three letter bitch, Vidar, KG, Timbo two times, and a host of other dumbasses have done to themselves on your behalf. So why the fuck would you care now, man? Back to the beginning of it. Support is low. Quote, third, state, st third straight stream where it's been this situation, unquote. And this made me think of something. You know how we always ask Ket and before Panda for calendars and shit? And it's like, why do you always need calendars? I'm willing to bet that this dude writes down the contributions that he gets on those calendars on the day. Which is why he knows it's the third straight stream where it's been this situation. Contributions are low for this game. I'm betting you this dude has a calendar and he's looking over at it, man. So he says a couple of weeks ago, everybody bought in and said they want to see it and they're going to support it. Fucking who said that, man? A lot of people. He then goes on to say he's not guilt tripping and this is not an ultimatum. Meanwhile, he's literally guilt tripping and giving an ultimatum of low support, no more Halo. Immediately after that, we get, quote, it sucks. Looks like I may have to give up something that I like and I don't like doing that, unquote. Sounds like a fucking guilt trip and ultimatum to me, dumbass. Just so far gone from reality, just whatever. Let's see what the next clip is. Why does it make me mad? Because this game is deserving okay. of more praise, more attention, and I want to play the superior game on my streams, and I'm basically being forced out of it. That's why. I don't like that. I want to play the superior games on my streams. I want to play the better games. I want to get good at the better games. And I'm not being allowed to do that because I'm basically being shown I'm not going to get consistent support for this game when I, I think it definitely deserves having a regular spot in my content. But I got to do what's right for the, for, for me in the business, too. It's not just about the fun games that I'm playing. It's also about being able to make a living. It's a combination of two. It's a double-edged sword for sure. It wasn't always like that, but it is like that now, and it sucks that I have to make those kind of decisions. I missed Again, it looked like I was close enough to melee, but did you notice I meleeed and all of a sudden he was further back and it wasn't, there's no dash or anything. I love it. It's the connection. Oh, it looks I like he's right it. there. It's melee distance. I go to do it. Oh, he's too far away, but he's right in front of me. Oh, well, he's not actually. Well, that's the connection then. That time it worked. And now another guy's next to him. Of Stop course. this. <laughs> oh my God. And then we get a troll fucking moron who can suck my fucking dick with a troll fucking tip which he can shove up his fucking ass. There. Block. Fuck you. Alright, now I can play more. 
All right, and I left that in just so you could see the salt. This is a grown man with unlimited excuses and the inability to admit anything is his fault. Your life seems great, buddy. Then he talks to some dumb troll that tipped, refunds his money, and then blocks him from tipping. Again, your life seems great. We're all jealous, man. I know I'm very fucking jealous. Back to the beginning of it. Quote, I want to play the superior games on my stream. And I'm basically being forced out of it, unquote. That's why he's mad. Quote, I'm basically being forced out of it. By who, man? You're a grown man, dude. You supposedly make your own schedule. If you want to play the fucking games, play them. And here's an idea for you, DSP. Play them offline then if you like the game so much. Dipshit, if you're a real gamer. And you claim to be not a paid shill and blah, blah, blah. Play the game offline. Practice offline. Jackass. He wants to get good at the better games. And he's not being allowed to do that because the games aren't getting support. Imagine someone talking to you like that in real life, man. And to top it off, the person is a beggar. But he has to do what's right for the business and to make a living. So here we go with the fact checking. I went to look up and again, shout out to Piece of Peace. As always, I use this uh, tracker. He's played Halo Infinite 15 times since it's released. I believe it was eight on the day stream, seven on the night stream. I might have that number backwards. He's gotten a total of $1,522, which comes out to an average of $101 every time he's played it. How is that not enough to support yourself, man? And by the way, that has nothing to do with super chats and memberships and behind the scenes tips, which he's begging his on-demand viewers for constantly. If you weren't such a fucking mobile game crackhead, you might be able to budget some of that money and to make it last, along with their YouTube check, by the way. The game is getting plenty of support, man. You just don't know how to handle the money which is why you're coincidentally bankrupt. Again, seems like a great life, crackhead. See what the next clip is. All right, yes, everyone's spamming. Read, this, read the super chat, read the super chat. Yeah, it's because you guys are trying to fucking antagonize me, so I'm just going to, first of all, ban every idiot who's been spamming that. Here we go. Who, is it? Who else said it? There it is. Okay, you're gone too. Good. Just keep banning. Because I know you all come in here and you all do this shit to try to antagonize me during the stream. So you're all banned. All right. Now. Reading what Color Pencil says. Here comes the hilarious stuff. This is going to be the dumbest, one of the dumbest things I've ever read on the stream. You ready for this? It's Christmas time. We're going through a global pandemic. Money is tight for people. People can't find work. Please, DSP, be more understanding. Yes. Okay. Right. That's why people didn't come and support the Halo stream. Right. Uh, let's see. So, I really, do I really have to answer this for you? Do I really have to answer this? So let me get this straight. I just want to be clear. No one who's streaming is making any living right now. Everyone's going out of business because there's a global pandemic and because it's Christmas time, right? Every streamer who's playing games right now, oh my God, it's, it's like a, it's a, it's a huge problem, right? Right now, every streamer out there is making absolutely no support at all. Right? I didn't get a good amount of support this this morning for the first stream, right? That's what it is. I didn't get that. Apparently it didn't happen. Alright? The point I'm making is that it's one particular game I'm playing that doesn't seem to be getting consistent support. It's not that I'm not getting support overall. Today was a good day. The Lost Judgment stream earlier today was great. I'm very grateful to those who attended and supported that stream. It went really well and it was fun. We got through a lot of shit and we're getting to the end of the game finally. Okay? This is the hilariousness about this dumb statement. Is this person saying, oh, you see, it's because no one has any money and everyone's unemployed. What the fuck are you talking about? No, no. I don't, the majority of people who watch my streams are not unemployed people. What the fuck are you talking about? This is the dumbest thing. We just had, all right? You ready for this? <laughs> you ready for this? The biggest box office opening in years. The third largest ever box op office opening for a movie. Spider-Man No Way Home. 
Now, certainly, I'm not saying my stream is Spider-Man No Way Home. That's not the comparison I'm making. The point I'm making is, if no one had any money, no one would be going to do entertainment stuff and paying for anything. All right? Oh, it's Christmas. But then, how'd they afford to go to the movies? It's Christmas. Right? <laughs> Everything you said, Colored Pencils, is stupid. Like, every word out of your what you said here is actually dumb. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get me to be pissed or something. It's not working. Because I'm countering you with actual facts that make you look like a fucking idiot. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, look at all the trolls here, because it's funny, we were around 200, 250 viewers, and all of a sudden, like, 60, 70 trolls came in in the last half hour, who I can now ban, which is excellent. All right, let's start at the beginning for this one. So, someone super chats him, which is giving him money, by the way, telling him that it's Christmas time, we're going through a global pandemic, and that some people can't find work. And to DSP, that's one of, quote, one of the stupidest things he's ever heard, unquote. And then he mocks the guy. How far out of touch is this guy, man? Again, imagine if someone told you that out in the streets. He then says every streamer out there is, quote, making no support at all, unquote. And obviously he's mocking. He also then slips up and says, quote, and apparently... I didn't make a good amount of support on the first stream at all, right? Didn't happen. If you go back and watch that, he stutters right when he starts to say it because he knows he fucked up. But he already started it, so he commits to it. And if you got that much support on the first stream, what the fuck are you even crying about this for? Why, man? And by the way, he got $182 on that first stream. Meaning, what was that, 236 total for the day. Obviously, minus PayPal fees, of course, but again, doesn't include Super Chats, memberships, and behind the scenes because he's begging for it constantly. And then again with Halo not getting enough support. I just fucking told you, I'd call $100 every time you play it, good support, crackhead. Quote, the majority of people that watch my streams are not unemployed people, unquote. How the fuck would you know that, man? How would you know that? He then says Spider-Man was the biggest box office opening and that if no one had money, how did they afford to go and how can they afford Christmas this year? Let me ask you a question, DSP. Where does all your money go? Why are you broke all the time? Why do you claim to never be able to afford anything? And by the way, I saw a pretty good graph from Secret Limited earlier today. Shout out for that video, homie. It was incredible. And please go watch it if you haven't yet. But that graph said you've spent more on microtransactions than anything else in your life over the past year, and it wasn't even close. But you expect the majority of your dumb fans to support every stream you do through every avenue available. And by the way, we'll have more on that in a minute. But every time one of your fans gets exposed, it seems to be some person on disability or government assistance or some loser that has no life whatsoever and dumps all their money onto you until they go broke themselves. Again, how fucking out of touch can you be, man? Let's see what the next clip is. Now, something else I'm gonna say, all right, because I'm getting, I am getting frustrated with with how people react to certain things. People right now are doing super chats. Thank you. Super chats help this channel in the long term. Super chats I will not get the benefit from until like at this point. If you're if you're super chatting today, late December, late December I'll get some help from those super chats, and I appreciate that. All right, but I don't want to hear people now saying, "Oh, Phil's ungrateful because he got a bunch of super chats today, and he's saying that he still needs help." Fuck you. No, really. Again, fuck you. Because you know what I'm asking for. Help now. To pay for the games coming up now. To pay my bills coming up now. Not things in December. Things now. You're not helping by coming on this stream and being a dickhead to me and acting like I'm being ungrateful because someone's doing a super chat. No, I'm very grateful. The super chats help, but they don't help me now. This isn't going to help me get through the next few weeks to month. It's going to help me next month. So stop with the bullshit.
coming in here and acting like I'm ungrateful when the problem is now not to, a month and a half from. All right, and that was obviously from the infamous November 3rd pre-stream where he pulled out his list of bills and crayons. But why do you need to seem to need the help now, Phil? Shouldn't you have an unlimited amount of income the same way you expect your dumbass pay pigs to? Regardless of Christmas, a pandemic, or people not having jobs. You know, this is part of the problem, man. He mentions that Super Chats don't help now, which is essentially the same as memberships, right? They don't help now. And how often do you hear him tell people to forego other methods of contributions because he needs help with tips now? He pretty much says that every day. I could probably put together a two hour video of him telling people forego other methods of contributions, please tip, he really needs the help, etc. I've, I've probably already put up a fucking video like that. And I had an idea about a video with this topic in mind, but I figured I would just include it here since I'm going in on his ass. But you can't bitch and complain about people not joining as members or when you fail your membership goals, especially when you're constantly telling them to tip instead of super chatting or joining the channel. It doesn't work like that, man. It just shows how entitled and far gone from reality he is. He just expects the support no matter what. Stream in, stream out. And if he doesn't get it, Chicken Little makes an appearance. He feigns distress, he cries wolf, he beg tweets, and then the next day he just does it all over again. But of course, if you press him about charity or asked him to borrow $5, He'd probably come up with a million reasons why he can't do it. And the next clip's gonna be the last clip, and it's just gonna delve more into memberships. Let's see what we got. No, we're not changing the membership goal for the month. The membership goal is what it is. It was attainable at one point, and then we lost like 30 members this month. I don't know what to tell you. People don't wanna re up their membership. Again, I, what I keep telling you guys is as follows The membership of this channel is not supposed to be a transactional thing. Oh, I'm paying to get something directly as a result of it. What it's supposed to be is, you like the content I put out, okay? You like these daily live streams that are free. You like the fact that I do it in a different manner than a lot of other people who do this for a living, right? The honesty, the transparency, and the lack of advertisement. There's no shilling here. There's none of that crap, right? So because of that, you say, oh, well, I know that if I become a channel member for a few bucks a month, it supports the effort to keep that going. Here you go. It's not supposed to be, oh, here's a few dollars. What do I get for it? Here's a few dollars. Where's my transaction? Where do I, where's the product I purchased? That's not what a membership to a YouTube channel is, okay? Sadly, I think there's a lot of people who think that way. Same thing with subs on Twitch. They think, I bought something. No, you didn't. You literally bought nothing when you became a channel member or a sub or anything. You bought nothing. What you said is you're supporting that content creator. You like that person and the content they put out enough that you want to constantly support them. Sadly, I hate to say it, a lot of people don't think that way who watch my content and they think, what am I buying? What benefit am I getting out of this? You're, you're supporting my effort to keep doing this. You know, 13 years of my life I've put into this. Um, that's what the membership's supposed to be. So. All right, just further evidence of him crying and bitching about people not joining the channel and why they don't want to. Again, you drive them away by constantly pestering them for tips, idiot. What do you expect, man? Then he says, you join the channel because, quote, you like the content I put out. Um, what the fuck does it tell you then, man? It's not rocket science. If people join based on the fact that they like the content, and people are not joining the channel, what does that tell you, man? You know, these aren't hard clues to pick up on. He's just an entitled fucking brat and he just won't listen. He also mentions that he doesn't do advertisement and he doesn't shill like a bunch of other people do. And that's why you should join the channel. Like who? Name some fucking names, man. I have channel memberships enabled. Do you ever hear me advertise it or shill it? You know, maybe once when I first got the option, but I barely even talk about it other than to thank people. There's a bunch of detractors that have channel memberships. They don't talk about them. But of course, Phil is the exception to the rule and everyone else has it easy 
and sells out. He then says another reason you should join the channel is because you're supporting him regardless of what you get in return. It's to let him keep doing what he loves. Life doesn't work that way, Philly boy. And if you ever stepped out of your condo, you might know that. But then again, you won't because you're afraid, especially with the way you talk to people online. And remember what I said in the beginning of this video, you need to tone it down, man, because it's gonna come back to get you. Just like you told Tevin, trust me. Now let's get some shout outs real quick. Uh, FIFO, as soon as the last video went live, sent me a tip, there was no message, but he supported me through channel membership and he's tipped a couple of times. Thank you, homie. I'm very, very appreciative. And CDSP, this is how you're supposed to treat people that support you, jackass. And then Lawrence, he just said big ups, man. And you know, he, I guess he just wanted to show some support, but thank you, Lawrence. I appreciate the faith you have in me, buddy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, next one will be out in a couple of days. I just, man, I felt like ranting after I saw what I saw tonight. And you know, I just, I need to put that message out there because he's talking reckless, he's talking crazy and it's gonna come back to get you, buddy. Whether it's in the form of bank leaks again, your channel getting taken down, you getting removed from YouTube. I mean, there's a million things and we all know it, but you better switch it up because it's gonna come back to get you, buddy. I'll talk to y'all very, very soon. Thank you for riding with me. And as always, a less a fucking a go.